Hello beautiful people, welcome back. This is another gameplay video of this month, and probably the most that I have ever uploaded on this channel. Basically, I'm trying to be consistent on this channel too. Anyways, so as I landed at the apartments, I realized that no one came. But one squad did land it at the school. So now I need to loot up quick, because they can rush at me anytime. So after completing the loot, I decided to change my building, just to have a good eye on them. But then, I spotted a guy crossing from the school, and he was obviously closing in. So I put him out right away. But I knew that three more of them are left. So I made a plan and decided to take one knock from long range, and then I will try to rush them. But unfortunately, I got interrupted and rushed by two pro players. So watch this segment yourself, till then I'm staying silent. Well, they were alleged pro duo, and the first guy almost took me out. But then, I tried the peek and fire technique, just to keep myself away from getting any more damages, and it worked pretty well. And I think this clutch deserves a like and subscribe. So smash the like button if you haven't already. So after I killed this duo, I still got the school squad on my mind, and I had to kill them quick, because I'm trying to do it from long. Anyways, now let me fight with the school squad, then I will speak afterwards. I got one knock, and I did tried confirming the kill too, but I failed. No worries. Now it is the perfect time to rush. Well, this guy immediately came to back his teammate, but sadly my potato reflex was on spot, lol. Now I knew more enemies are left here, because some of them came here from Rozhok Hill. And one guy from the hill is already fighting with this school squad. So let me fight them first. This game is probably drunk or something, because I don't know how the hell did I got damaged here from the Molotov. Stupid game. <laughs> Anyways, let me focus. To be honest, my two kills got stolen from the hill enemy, and I got so pissed off. So I immediately killed the Rozhok hill guy, as soon as I spotted him. Because revenge are sweeter than sugar. This quote deserves a like, so smash it. So after doing some serious fights against bots, we started searching more enemies. And luckily, we found a vehicle filled with enemies. So let me fight with them first. Well, I obviously killed them, but sadly, I lost my teammate. I didn't have the time to save him because he ran into a bad spot and got finished right away. To be honest, your spot and position makes or breaks your game. If you get yourself in a bad spot, then only the almighty god can save you. So once again I went on search for more enemies alone, because my other teammate was kind of toxic, he didn't want to come with me. Anyway, so here on the hills, I found one player snaking around. I don't know what he was doing here, but thanks to him for the kill. 
Now the zone has shifted pretty much on the other side of the bridge, so I immediately realized that this could be the best time to camp the bridge. So I immediately executed my plan well and started doing the bridge camp, even though it was quite risky, as I was doing it solo. Anyways, now watch the bridge camp, till then I'm keeping my mouth shut. Well, the guy with the buggy that went straight to the cover had the DMR. That's why I was quite scared to show him my head. Because even one body shot is enough for the DMR to get anyone out right away. So as I was patiently waiting for the blue zone to catch him, but then, another player was coming towards me. And I took the risk and went for the kill without thinking about the DMR guy. And luckily, I got the kill too. But personally, I don't think it was a right choice to do, because I could have been dead if his focus was on me. But his focus was obviously locked on the same guy whom I was trying to fight with. Anyways, so now that the blue zone has already catch him, he has to come out and run. And if he don't come out, he will die from the zone damage anyway. So I was continuously looking at the kill feed, but then he started to run by driving his buggy. But he was way too unlucky, because I was already sitting and waiting to take his soul, lol. So as I have already got 22 kills, and now only 2 more players are alive. I don't know if they are from the same team or different, so let's find out. After killing this player, I knew that they were obviously not from the same team. And I also knew that the last guy will of course be tough to find. So after searching for the last guy from long, I finally spotted him. Holy shit, it was a pretty interesting game. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more gameplays like this. And now, I'm going to make another tips and tricks video for my main channel, peace out boys.